The step slide explains how to calculate, calculate the slope of a line or a curve. So in this set of slides we are going to do the following. We will calculate the slope of a line, we will calculate the slope of a curve and we will compare a positive slope and a negative slope. And this presentation will explain how to calculate the slope of a line. So we, here we have a diagram showing the relationship between company profits and company tax paid. So this is the vertical axis or the y-axis and this is the horizontal axis or the x-axis. These are the different data points and they represent the value, the corresponding values between company profits and company tax paid. For example at point A you can see that when company profits is 1.25 million, company tax paid will be 350,000. So the amount of company tax paid is shown on the vertical axis and the amount of company profits is shown on the horizontal axis. So each of these different points represent a different level of company profits and the corresponding company tax paid. So the formula to calculate the slope of a line is the difference in value on the vertical axis divided by the difference in value on the horizontal axis. So how do we do this? We choose two points on the line, so we choose point A and point B. Now we have to calculate Light the difference in value on the vertical axis. So at point A, the value of company tax pay is 280,000, and at point B, it is 350,000. So the difference on the vertical axis between those points is 350,000 minus 280,000 is equal to 70,000. So company tax paid increases by 70,000 when we move from point A to point B. Now we calculate the difference in value on the horizontal axis. So at point A, the company profit is 1 million, and at point B, company profit is 1.25 million. So the difference between those two, 1.25 million minus 1 million, so company profits increased by 250,000 from point A to point B. Now we use the formula to calculate the slope. So the difference in value on the vertical axis, we calculate it as 70,000, and the difference in value on the horizontal axis, we calculate it to be 250,000. And if we divide 70,000 by 250,000, that gives us 0, 0,28. So the slope of this line between A and B is 0, 0,28. Now we want you to calculate the slope of the line between point C and point D. Please stop this video here. Um, and first do the calculation before you look at the answer. So you're going to use the same formula to calculate the slope of the line, difference in value on the vertical axis divided by difference in value on the horizontal axis. So the two points that we've chosen, chosen or given to you is point C and point D. And if we calculate the difference in value on the vertical axis at C, it is 70,000 and at D it is 140,000. So 140,000 minus 70,000 gives us 70,000. It's company tax paid increases by 70,000. Now the difference in value on the horizontal axis when we move from point C to point D at C company profits is 250,000 and at D, company profits is 500,000 
So the difference is 500,000 minus 250,000 Rand gives us 250,000 Rand. So now we calculate the slope, it is the 70,000 Rand, difference in value on the vertical axis, divided by the 250,000 Rand, difference in value on the horizontal axis, 70,000 divided by 250,000 gives us 0 0.28. So the slope of the line between C and D is 0 0.28 and as you can see this is a straight line. So the slope of a straight line has the same value everywhere on the line. And you will remember that when we looked at the slope between points A and point B it was also 0 0.28.